Welcome back everyone. Trying to do a transition from the title the intro screen to this. How's that? Um, how's everybody doing today? We are not much further than when we parted ways in the last episode. I'd only cleaned up that other field ahead of us with the spraying and that's it, I think. So, you didn't miss much. All right, let's just get this done. Um, trees are still a little bit of a problem. Show you what I mean. This tree here is a problem. We're probably going to clear that out. And at the other end of this field, there are some trees that I think I want to clear out to make things a lot easier. No crop destruction yet. Still uh, first, first bit of growth. So we've got stage two unlocked. Uh, don't have much money. Can't really do any of the next goals quite yet. But uh, that's okay. That's all right. Well, maybe we'll make a little money in this episode. Well, I don't want to do like last episode where it was just a constant hauling back and forth to the store to sell stuff. So we'll try to get a little bit more creative. Now, the carrots are ready. Actually, let me turn on the HUD. There we go. I am allowed to lease now, so that's a beautiful thing. Why don't we take care of a couple of the trees and then we'll um, lease ourselves a carrot harvester of some kind and we'll take it from there. Granny still hasn't done much. I don't know, man. We love her, but... Material's missing still. I don't know what she's doing with all the, all the wool I'm giving her. Oh well, maybe she's been in the bottle again. Um, all right, all right, all right. Um, uh, da, 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 da. that's what I'm looking for. Let's do one load of trees so we can get a little bit of more money in the bank. Then we're gonna lease, lease ourselves. Hey, carrot harvester, we'll get on that. Soon I'll have a little bit more pocket money, we'll call it, and I can start decorating a bit more. It's a bit expensive to do. So let's get rid of the trees at the end of this field here. At least, at least one of them. That one there. Yeah, just this one should be good. Okay, that one was easy. Actually, why don't we get rid of about all three of these? We'll get rid of the ones. Uh, there we go. Nice. Uh, we'll get rid of the ones down at the other end of the field as well. Wow, that was clean. Clean and easy. We could get rid of this one here and widen the field a bit more. That's a good idea. I think we're going to do that. Probably add another 30% to this field. It is a little bumpy though. One tree is kind of growing weird. It's tipped over. <laughs> Had a few of those on Western Wilds map. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. This one's not so easy. There we go. Yeah, we'll get rid of these. The um, the sprayer did get caught up on the tree on the left there. one. I think we'll take all of these all of these trees out of here. They're a pain. Let our workers get more into it. Ah, uh, no. Why, why is it turning? Okay, I got it. Yeah, we're just going to clean all this up here. What are we at? 75%. Clean. This one's not really in the way, but what the heck. And these are going pretty well today. Just the one was a bit of a problem. Let me shoot down here and deal with this field too because we're going to need some good turnaround space for Carrot Harvester. And we need another tree or two. Yeah, we'll just go with this one here. And then I'll find something else to cut down. I don't want to cut down trees like out in the field just the sake of like I like a little flavor you know um, I think we're good here okay that opened things up a bit I'm gonna grab a tree on the way back we'll find something Let's grab these guys here. We might only need one more. That full? Yeah, we're full. Okay. Now I could push it and get a bigger trailer, but I think we'll do some more work at some point in between the fields. We'll join some fields up as we can get some bigger equipment. Um, right now we still have a pretty small harvester. So, someone suggested that a red building beside the biogas plant is the place where you sell wood chips. And that's where you sell wood. I don't think they take wood chips though. Let me double check. Oh, they do take wood chips. Okay, hang on a second here then. Um, wood chips. It's labeled biogas. Is this biogas? I guess it is. Okay, well, thank you for that. I thought that one up there was biogas. That one up there is kind of a useless building. 
thinking of getting rid of it just for the sake of getting rid of it. This thing doesn't tip very fast. Well, I guess there's a lot, a lot coming out of the header. While that's doing that, let's figure out our harvesting. So this here <coughs> should be worker friendly and it should, um, it should be able to Look, I'm gonna go for this right away. I do like this thing. I don't think I've used this on a series yet, so the lease price for this is nine thousand, so we can afford that. Um yeah, let's do that. Let's just get right into oh 170 horsepower though. That's a problem. That changes things though. Um, I can lease a tractor now too. The leasing unlocked is huge. Huge. Any good deals here? Ooh, I could lease this. That's the big one too. Oh, that's pushing it though. I don't think I need this. Oh, man. That's about as big a tractor as I'd need on this map. I gotta think about that one. Oh, you can't lease used vehicles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that solves that. So I think we're going to shop for a new tractor today. We're going to turn in one of them and get something more powerful in a 200 plus range. This guy's been pretty good for us, though. Um, okay. Gonna stall in on this. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and lease this. Boom. And then we are going to uh, get ourselves, how about if I lease this? This is, I use this on, on Comlands a lot and I like this tractor a lot. Um, 147 on the lease is another 7,000. Uh, per work hours, three grand per work day. Now, the, th the thing with leasing now is I don't have my lease to own mod, so. I gotta think about that. Um... Let me think about this. Let's see if I can come up with something different. There's a big price difference here, though. 246, 222, 209, 188 is really a lot more pricey. I could go for something cheaper. That's 170. I'd like to get 200 plus, though. Um... See what we can find here. Oh, no, we're not doing that. I could do this. Um, this could work. Keep only 74,000. As a matter of fact, I could probably maybe figure out how to buy this selling a few loads of wood that would be an option for sure let me think about this for a minute 210 all the way to 300 that would be really good i did have problems with this tractor on um i forget which map it is carvara i think so yeah all right so the harvester's there and I gotta think about it, but I can't think about it too much. Cause I gotta get to work right now. This definitely has to go back though. I 
24,000. I would need it's about 18,000 for load on the uh, on the wood. So I would probably need about four loads, four loads of wood to be able to buy that tractor. Man, I gotta think about it. You know what? Why don't I lease it? See if I like it. And take it from there. And I will, in exchange, I will. Can I have a front loader on that? Yes, I do. Oops, left that running. It's no good. Oh, no. Uh, 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 there we go. And I'm just going to put this right outside here. And we're going to sell this trusty little dude. We're going to sell this and we're going to lease the big one that we were looking at. And then we'll see if we like it. Uh, if we don't like it, we'll return it. If we like it, um, we'll, well, we'll have to return it and buy one. This is a great starter tractor. Early in the game when you don't have much money when you're playing kind of a survival mode kind of thing. Can't go wrong with this thing. It seem to guzzle a lot of fuel though. And it might be because, not necessarily because it burns a lot of fuel, but the fuel tank might be small. So it seems like it's going through fuel pretty fast. That thing looks huge. All right, thank you. I'd like to thank my equipment. And a little repaint, a little repair, and sell. There we go. Then we're going to lease that, that case, which is right here. We'll lease it at 210. Um, wheels, front weights. Do we want a front weight? Yeah, let's put one on. And wheel weights, not so much. Yeah. Okay, so let's lease this. This is going to be 38 35 which isn't really expensive. Okay. Now let's see how that works. Whoa. Oh, it's got this kind of turning. Oh, no. And toggle turning control Y. I don't want all wheel steering. Front wheel steering only. Thank you. All wheel and um, long implements does not work. Doesn't do very good. All right, we're off. And one of the neat things about this, and this is where I thought it was, when I, before I ever tried this, I looked at it and it, it, it loads uh, crates, right? Um, uh, or pallets, basically, boxes of boxes of carrots. Um, and I thought, man, I'm gonna have to keep going back to the store, getting new pallets, bringing them, loading them up. It's gonna be a pain, but I didn't realize that this is kind of automated. I'll show you what I mean for those of you who have never tried this. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot something important. I forgot something really important. As usual, I forgot something. 
There we go again. I do this all the time, guys. I have to check if I can put arrows on this. I'm a little worried that that's not going to fly. Oh, and this is a rental. I can't do it. Oh boy, here we go again. Here we go again. I do this all the time. I don't know why I don't think of stuff. Um, let's see from here. Narrow tires. It can do narrow tires, but I cannot modify this one because it's a it's a rental. So, oh man. Okay. Um. All right. I'll see you at the store. I gotta swap out. I'm gonna take the hit again, as usual. All right, I'm on my way back here, and I just had a thought. Um, does that harvester have narrow tires on it? You would think it would. But, uh, I don't even need to bring this here to do this, but let's have a look at that for a second. Um, da, 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 this thing here, wheel setup, you can choose different tires, but you can't, the setup is just what it is. I don't know, those don't look like narrow tires to me. This could be a problem. Um... I could turn off crop destruction too, I guess. Um, 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 uh, what am I doing? Um, okay, well, let's, uh, return this. Hang on a second, guys. Let me just check before I do this. <clears throat> let me just check if the rules, if I can, if I have to have crop destruction on. Okay. Well, I'd have to go back to Rusty's first video. Um, I've decided that I'm going to make my own call. We're not going to, we're going to turn crop destruction off. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. If I'm breaking the rules, well, too bad. Um, that's off. Fieldstone is on. Weeds are on. I had lime on originally. I turned that off, too. So how can I offset this? How about plowing is required? Let's put that on there. There we go. Okay. I wanted a little bit more difficulty. Took away difficulty. And that way I don't have to return this. And I can stop run destroying my crops by re accidentally running across them. And Play your own way, they say. I do that, though, in series. I'll switch. I'll switch rules or settings. Try to start series with tougher settings, um, just to challenge myself a little bit. But eventually, it's not. It doesn't become a challenge thing; it becomes an annoying thing, and I lose interest. All right, let's get this done. This is what I really want to do: harvest carrots, fiddle around with all kinds of equipment. Boy, look at this sucker. Okay, we're gonna start down this side. This isn't a big field.
And I think we'll start right there. Now, I hit the comma and I buy new boxes. And it's 520 bucks for four. So yes, there we go. And they're automatically loaded. I thought I would have to do all that manually. So, get this thing going. And it's going to fill up all four boxes until, until it's time to, uh, until they're full. And it's going to stop and, and I'll have to unload them, come pick them up. That, that I will do. That's not a problem. I believe these are Euro pallets, so I can uh, auto load them. I think. The check. Now, as the first one gets full, I think that arm moves forward. I'm not sure actually. Not sure how it actually works. It's going to animate that. Unexpected reasons. Interesting. Oh, it changed the steering. Why did it change the steering? Curious as to whether it changed it back again. Okay. We're at 14%. When we get to 25%, and it's going to be one box is going to be full. I just want to see if it moves the uh, the actual arm or, or it starts. Yeah, I assume that it's going to have to move it. At 25 and now it's starting to go to the other one the the second one did the fourth one first the second one and then at 50 percent we'll see what happens right now they're sitting end to end like the ends of that that conveyor are on two and four i want to see if it moves to one and three after Okay. All right. Enough of that silliness. Um, dun, 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 dun. What do we got here? All right. So that's ready. These nothing else is close to being ready. I want to check for fertilizing. So this needs to be fertilized. That needs to be fertilized. This needs to be fertilized. This is grass. I'm not, I don't really care that much about it. Um, but these three do need fertilizing. That's going to be a lot easier with, um, crop destruction off. Though I do have a nice, nice sprayer. Um, what did I do with my, actually I got a great fertilizer vehicle there. Yeah, we may as well use that. We're not using this thing for much. I'm not allowed to sell it. But I should... I guess I should put some grapes back in somewhere. Otherwise it's a glorified... Glorified sprayer. It's really expensive sprayer. Um... Do I have any? I've got to have some. That's weird. That is very weird. Okay. 
Well, I guess I'm going to drive to the store, load up. Oh, right. I did that thing. I did that thing. So this is the sprayer configuration on this. Um, and when you switch it to the harvester configuration, if you just do that at the repair shop and you don't unload your fertilizer, um, you lose it all. That's what I did. Try not to do that again. I do have, uh, it did say I was going to reset up the lime production, but now that I'm not using lime, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so I forget what the capacity on this thing is. Uh, what is it? What is it? It is 3,400. So we're going to need two two pallets. These are 2,000 each. So, and by, and we'll load these up. Yeah, let's get some grapes back in somewhere. We'll do that. Okay, there's a bit left over. Should be 600 liters left over, I think. I want to smooth out the road that's at least the part that's on my property. Uh, but I'm worried about how much it's going to cost in terraforming to do that. It's just, I just run the smooth tool down the road. It'll take out a lot of the bumps. All right, um, let's start with this field, I guess. Let's check how my carrots are doing. Oh, is there weeds here too? There's weeds here too. Uh, okay. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell how this is going very well. So, I think I'm going to get a worker to start. I think we'll just start here, I guess. I'm thinking those trees need to go as well. They're really close to the field. What is this doing? It doesn't want to go on a worker. First need to unfold. There we go. Is a worker going to want to do this? Well then. This is not a standard kind of Tool to be doing this with. Now I did have, I did have a little, a little uh, fertilizer spreader. I don't know what I did with it. I might have sold it. Might have sold that because I have the new sprayer. So let's unload these. Put this away. Oh, 
Let's uh, set it up so that it can just come out next time I want to take it. And then we're going to grab this guy. And we need, yeah, we need the, um, we need the fertilizer, but we also need to do weeds over here. So what I'll do is I'll do weeds first. And then I will, um, from there, oh, oh, almost ran through those. Uh, and then from there, once I'm done with the, with the weeds, then I'll, I'll get, uh, sorry, I'm lost, lost for words here. I'm trying to think of six things at the same time. Um, yeah, once we're done, we're done with the weeds, then we'll get, we'll empty it and start fertilizing. I think it's going to actually make it a bit easier for us to see uh, where we have to go with the fertilizing. The weeds are out of the way. would like a worker to do this, but my fields are, I don't know, maybe I need to switch my fields to more square fields. I got so used to having a course play that my field design is kind of works in conjunction with, you know, how course play works. I'm recording this uh, after work on Monday. Uh, then I'm going to grab some dinner and do a couple of things. And then I'm streaming live tonight on Comlands. So we'll do Comlands this time. But you guys, it'll, it'll have been last night by the time you guys see this. So... Let me just get this headland done and I'll try to get a worker to finish it up and uh, we'll deal with the carrots because they're ready. This is so quiet. This tractor's quiet, the sprayer's quiet. I'm gonna come and chop down those trees too. I'll leave the one in the middle kind of thing. All right, I'm gonna switch this way because I think this is how it kind of lines up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, didn't take too long. Okay, so I've got this and then, um, let me go get that tree right away. Let me get those trees right away because they'll get in the way of the, the sprayer. We'll go snag those, then I'll come around. We'll get the um, we'll get the auto load trailer. I'll unload those carrot pallets. Yeah, these two trees over here. I'll leave this one to the left there. I may change the shape of the fields. Um, come on. There we go. Ah, what's going on here? There we go. There we go. Well, that was a bit too late. Yep, 
like a three-step process with these trees sometimes. Okay. That's 43%. Let's grab... Uh, which tractor am I going to grab? I guess it's this one, because I don't have any other ones. Okay, let me put this down here. And we'll put this down. We'll come back and get this later. Let me get that auto load trailer. I don't like my sheep pen. I need to, I feel like it needs fencing or something around it. We'll try to pretty that up a bit later. Okay, no crop destruction. It stopped there. Why did it stop there? This row. Is there like a stump or something here? I don't see anything. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know why. All right, let's unload these. And let's see if I remember how to do this. Um, unload boxes. Okay, so the worker just abandons. Drop off the boxes. Okay. And this guy's going to come around. We'll pick those up. We'll order new boxes. We'll be off we go. And auto load. And these are not zero pallets. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Uh. What are they? Fluid tank. Big bag pallets. Big bags. Zero pallets overloaded. It might be that. No. Round bales. Square bales. Zero pallets with double length. I don't think it's that. No. Barrel pallet. Fourfold zero pallets. No. Prefab. Large wood. Dog house, metal, vegetable pellets. Should be that. Why isn't it that? Oh man. Oh, there we go. That was kind of finicky. Okay, that was kind of weird. It's very fussy. Turn off auto load. Let's get this guy restarted again. So this one will reset. We'll buy more boxes. And off we go. This is weird. What did it do? What did it do here? It, it, it's like it backed up all the way there to unload. That was weird. Okay, we'll let it do its thing. Gotta get this out of the way though. It says it'll take 10 of these. Not quite sure how that maths out. We'll find out. We'll find out next load. Okay. Apparently I didn't cut the tree in time.
this down. Yeah, I think I'm going to rework the fields a bit, uh, the round ones. They're, they're more problematic without, without course play. So I think I'll give that some thought. I won't do it right away, but probably after next harvest, I will try to figure something out. I can get this last pass all in one. It's a weird angle, so I won't get a worker to do it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's gonna be close. Miss one little bit there. Ah, I always do this. I try to get one pass and then I miss one some on one side so I move over a little bit and I miss some on the other side. Now I gotta go back and do two two things. I missed a bit here. Not much. And I missed a bit here. Okay. Okay, so um, let me just check the weeds again. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, I'm all good. Let's turn that off for a minute. And then uh, fertilizing still needs to get done. So we'll empty this out. Let's get rid of that menu. And I need to empty this somewhere. Of course, now I'm leaving stuff all over the place again in my usual style. Load that. We're going to load up the herbicide. Oh no, fertilizer, I should say. This holds quite a bit more than the other one, I think. Uh, maybe not. I think this holds 4,000 even. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll rework the fields a little bit, and that way we'll get... Um, we'll basically be able to... Uh, maybe create another grape grape field okay let me try this again get a worker to do some of this we're gonna have to unload pallets again in a minute okay All right, next. How are we doing with this? Yeah, so see, it does move. Running, running. It does move the position. It's on one and three now. That's cool. That means two and four are full. Well, that's going to be eight pallets, and then I'm going to need... I think I'll unload at 8, but I'm really curious to see how it fits 10. I'm assuming that what it probably does is put one side lengthwise here. That'd be 5 per level. Let's say 10. So, Alright, what am I doing with carrots, by the way? Um, what am I doing with carrots? That's the next big question. So, um, not this... What I want is carrots are way down at the bottom for some reason. The one place that buys them, 218 per 
and the fluctuation 289 is peak so it's about halfway right now between you know give or take so um i'm gonna run up here a little bit i just want to look at i think the only thing you can do with carrots is make soup i think Um, you can make soup and preserves. 14, 19, but obviously I would need, uh, these are two separate productions. Um, what's triple soup? Triple soup. Oh, there's potato soup too. We could do potato soup. Why don't we do a soup shop? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a soup shop. Uh, however, that obviously is going to cost the money. So, let me look at soup. Uh, in the productions, obviously, there's the premium expansion version of the soup shop. Uh, which one is it? Soup factory, 135000 That's a lot of money. I don't know if there are any cheaper versions. Yeah, I'm wondering what I should do with these with these carrots. I don't know if there's a cheap soup factory. I doubt it, to be honest. I doubt it very much. So maybe I'll keep my carrots for now. Let's start them and the next spend really is going to be um, uh, the, the next piece of land right so this is almost full I think I'm getting there it's on the last one it's going really well though just took it just did that one weird thing Uh, let's jump over here for a second. Okay, so did this, and here's another tree that could go. Okay, all boxes are full. I need to figure out what I've done so far. Bit doesn't look like it got done. Yeah, this area. Oh, wow, this is terrible. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of a challenge on our hands. Squared off fields. I think, I think it's inevitable. Uh, let's start spraying this. I want to get the uh, carrot harvester unloaded, and I'm looking at the clock now, and this episode has just flown by. Um, all right, I got a whole section up here to do. I got to fix this up. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to do that off camera. I'll get it all fertilized off camera, probably. Um, this guy. Yeah, start the engine. Unload the pallets. Okay. Let's go pick them up. Tire is sticking out there. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that's what I figured it would do. Okay. It could hold two more. Oh no. Front of the tractor. Oh man. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. 
Apparently that's really heavy. Let's see. Oh, it keeps uh, the worker keeps turning all wheel steering on. So I guess that's gonna have to be the way. Okay, this one can cart no problem. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with these carrots. Oh, it is it is getting a little bit in the front. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. So I think I'm going to unload them somewhere. You know what? It would be nice to have one of those warehouse things. And I'm going to unload these. I don't. There we go. Figure that out. Get this back. Not knocking over the carrots. Whoa. Now this is weird. I don't like all wheel steering. It's got its its strength. And there's you know there's some, there's some situations where it would be really good, but I prefer I prefer the old fashioned way. Oh no no no! Bumps the tractor. Okay. Now look what it's done. It's moved... I think... No, I think I just need to back up a little. I also need to line up properly. There we go. I'm gonna back that up a little bit. Come on. I think if I put my wheel right on the edge there, it's perfect. Okay, so we're going to set that up. We're going to buy more pallets. Now, the thing about the pallets is that they don't... Uh, when you sell your carrots, you don't get the pallets back. So it's not like you can reload them. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. I gotta move out of the way before I get run over.